After two years, a terrorist faced justice today. The Nigerian man, known as the underwear bomber, was sentenced to life in prison for attempting to blow up a jetliner on Christmas Day two years ago. As the courtroom saw a video of what would have happened if the explosives had worked. ABC Senior Justice Department correspondent Pierre Thomas following the developments for us tonight. Two, one. This is how Umar Farouk Abu Matalib planned to kill himself and all 289 passengers aboard a commercial flight over Detroit on Christmas Day 2009. This FBI video was designed to show the true power of Abu Matalib's underwear bomb. Watching the video at his sentencing today, Abu Matalib yelled in Arabic, God is great. And he said in a statement to the judge, I am proud to kill in the name of God. The only thing that prevented the defendant from being successful that day was his own bad luck. Abu Matalib's goal, maximum destruction. He sat in seat 19A near the left wing, close to an 11,000 gallon fuel tank. The only reason he did not kill everyone on board is because the bomb's detonator malfunctioned. Prosecutors bluntly say Abu Muttalib is an unrepentant mass murderer who would try to kill again if given the chance.